Hello everyone, welcome back to Shawcode. In this video I will be teaching you what generators are and how to use them. This is the second video in the Python Advanced Tutorial series, and by the end of this video you'll learn how to use generators. By the way, if this is your first time here, my name is Caleb Shaw and I post loads of awesome Python tutorials and other computer related stuff, so if you are interested in that, be sure to subscribe. Now let's get right into it. So basically, a generator is an object that we can iterate over. They are similar to lists, but a bit different. The best way to understand what generators are is to get right into some examples. So I just have a function here that takes a number as a parameter called num. It then iterates through the range of that number, for i in range, and then it appends it to a list each time, but it multiplies it by 2. So result.append, result is the list, result.append i times 2, and then it returns the list. And then my doubles is set to the list, and then it'll print out my doubles. So if we run it, we get our list that has been doubled. Now how would we convert this to a generator? Well first we need to remove return result, we need to get rid of result as well, and we need to get rid of result.append. Now what we need to do here is we need to type in yield. And it's this yield keyword that makes it the generator. And if we print out my doubles now, we get our generator object. So it's no longer a list, it's a generator object. Generators don't hold the entire result in memory, instead it yields each result individually, one at a time. This has the benefit of speed. If we were using a list with tens of thousands of items in it, it would take a really long time to load, because it is all being stored in memory. However, with a generator, only one item at a time is yielded, and so going through a huge sequence takes less time. So at the moment, our generator is waiting for the next result. So to get the next result, we should print out the generator using the next function. So our generator at the moment is my doubles. So let's print out next my doubles. Save and run that. We get zero because the first item is zero in the generator, and we can use the next function over and over again. We get zero, two, four, six, and then let's do it two more times to get the full one. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten. There we go. And what happens if we do it one more time? Save it and run it. We get this exception stop iteration because the generator has finished and there's nothing to move on to next, so it throws us an error. Now this is very inefficient at the moment, because we are having to write next out loads of times. And instead, why don't we iterate for it with a for loop? Let's do for double in my doubles. And then we'll do print double. And we'll get 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now we don't need to use next here, because it's iterating over the generator automatically, so we don't need to use the next function. And as you can see, we won't get any errors, because the for loop knows when to stop. It, it never exceeds the generator. And this is also a lot less code than the uh, list beforehand, and it is a lot cleaner. Now this is better than using a list because it has a lot more readable and cleaner code, because we aren't having to create lists and append to the list and return the list, we just have to yield it. But you might be thinking, list comprehension is cleaner than using this. So let's create a list comprehension like this. So we could just do my doubles equals i times 2 for i in range 6, was it? Yeah, for i in range 6, and then we'll just print my doubles and run it, and we get the same result. But what if I told you that we can create a generator like list comprehension? So if we do it like this, instead of using square brackets, we can use rounded brackets. And that turns it into a generator object. And then we can iterate for it. For double in my doubles. Print double. And there we go, it's the exact same thing. It's just like list comprehension, but as a generator. And it's just as clean as using list comprehension. Now, let me just get rid of this. If we did want to convert this into a list, this generator, we could just cast it, so we could just do list my doubles, we could just cast it like this and print it out and we get a list, but you are losing out on the speed efficiency that generators have, 
So in summary, you would use a generator if you are dealing with a huge set of numbers uh, and they let you yield the numbers one by one so your program won't take ages to load like a list would. That's pretty much it for generators. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. I will always respond to you guys. If you would like to support me, all you have to do is give this video a like. It really does help me out. I post Python tutorials every day, so if you are interested, be sure to subscribe. And that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.